Hello, children everywhere. Okay, uh, suspension video. A lot of people complaining they can't find the advanced ball socket settings. Reason for that is the site went down. Now that it's up, and I think it's pretty much sort of dead. Alas, tricky tutorials. I knew thee well. Anyway, seeing as they're gone, I might as well do a little video on the settings. So, let's get to it. Swoosh. Okay, got two panels here. Not linked. Hit each other. Oop. And they slide around. Isn't that amazing? Take your advanced ball socket tool. Set all the minimums to 180 and all the maximums to minus 180. Tick free movement, tick no collide if you like, it's up to you. Uh, X friction, Y friction, Z friction, they're all zero. Torque limits are all zero, force limit zero. Take the ball socket, do one from the other. Amazing thing happens. You can move one with the other. <gasps> It's a little slack, so the second panel will go a bit further than the first one. But it works pretty good. You need to twiddle around them. I can move this anywhere I like. But it will stay at the same angle and degree of attack as this one. Do -do 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 -do. Impress your friend with amazing ball socket skills. If you undo that, go back to ball socket, go back to default. The default setting all the minimums are 180 and all the maximums are 180. No, minimums are minus 180. If you do the same thing again, take a ball socket, go from. Oh, and I need a bigger item. Go from item to ground. You can then place your item through the world geometry. So you don't need one of those ridiculous no collide world tools. Take off the ball socket and it collides again. Eh, yeah, work with anything. Yeah, let's pick something bigger. It's good if you spawn a very big oh no. Had to rebuild my spawn menu. See, yeah. hey, take it with anything. Up, down, in. Woo. Just don't drop it. See, do it like that weird art car thing they've got in Texas. Yeah, let's stick a load of really nice cars in the floor for no reason. It's amazing. Anyway, those are two handy dandy ball socket settings. Alright, I'll write them in the comments over there. And anyone who's already gone, I don't know what the settings are, I'll post a reply and go, look at this video, or I'll just send you the settings. Alright. Um, my name's Big Adam, and I make crap tutorials. Hooray!